Hello guys and welcome back to Getting Started with LabVIEW. Today we will be uh, discussing on how to perform a mathematical operation in uh, LabVIEW. So uh, previously we have actually discussed that when we use uh, the controls and indicators to actually display value and to input value, uh, we can also add uh, functions that actually manipulate uh, mathematical operations and values that is actually going into the controls and indicator. So previously, uh, we have looked into the uh, controls palette on the front panel. Today, we will look into the block diagram. And when we right click on the block diagram, you will get the functions palette. So in the function palette, it will actually provide various kinds of APIs. Uh, and you can actually use this API to manipulate not only uh, numeric uh, data, but also booleans and also string. So today we will focus on the numeric uh, palette. So if let's say if I click on the numeric palette and if I want to view the entire functions of the numeric palette, I can actually see that we have the basic operations, uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, divide, remainder. Uh, in some programming language, uh, this is actually called mode, uh, modulus. We also have the increment of single value, decrement of single value, add the elements of array, compound arithmetic, and so on. So let's perform the very basic uh, mathematical operation. So I'm just going to be click on the addition and place it on the block diagram. I'm going to also include the subtraction, multiplication, and divide. So I need to close this. So what I need to do is, you can see that when you try to connect the uh, x control and the y control you can see that there is actually two in the inputs into this um, additional function and if I want to create a indicator for this all I need to do is right click at the end and press create indicator so you can see that an indicator is being created on the front panel so I'll actually do the same as well for the uh, subtraction addition uh, multiplication and oh, I think I created the wrong wire here. So let's put the x value here, x value up here, and another x value up here. And I need to put a y value here, another y value here, and another y value here. So I need to create an indicator and as you create the indicator you will see that uh, each respective uh, values is actually being shown in, in such ways. So what I can do is I can try to create uh, input a value. Let's say if I put this as 100 and I put this as 5. So what I would expect is I would actually get 105 here, 95 here. Um, 500 here and of course 20 here so if I press run and I can actually see that I get the value immediately at here uh, there are also times where when you find that this particular wiring seems to be very complicated all you need to do is you just need to select the particular region and you need to press control U and what it does it, it actually arrange the wiring for you in a way that it looks very systematic and if I'm not mistaken here you can actually have the um, control U which is the arrange cleanup selection so control U is help, helps you to clean up the wiring make it neat so that it actually looks something quite uh, pleasant here so these are pretty much the basic operations of uh, numeric uh, mathematical operations in LabVIEW and you also feel free to explore more uh, in here where we have the square root, the square, reciprocal, they have several mathematical um, terms here that you can actually use. They even also have the maths, maths uh, constant, for example, pi, 2 pi. So this is actually a quite a very uh, useful API that you can use for uh, mathematical expressions or calculations in LabVIEW.